Welcome back to Dead Space. Let's go find some shock pads so that we can blow up the barricade that's blocking our way. We've already got the hydrazine, just need the shock pads to actually set off the explosion. Oh, there's so many creepy whispers and like baby crying noises. Distant and ethereal. Look at these test tubes. What's in there? Kidney beans. Ugh. Biological Prosthetic Center. Oh, right. That is where we just entered. In case of emergency, proceed to hospital wing of medical deck. The BPC is for stabilized injuries only. up their entire upper body. I know I didn't exactly rush to help them, but come on, we both know there's no helping them. It's scripted. Security level three. So I think they're teasing that new enemy. Yeah, those things. Oh, that's why we're hearing, like, baby noises, because those are... Or were babies, I think. Oh, I thought I heard pitter patter of of footsteps, but I think it's just some there's some water that's coming down from the ceiling here and it's making a pitter patter noise. You can barely see it. To Z. Caswell from D. Leal, subject clerical error. Zoe, specimen 426 is ready for harvest. I was about to notify Alvarez to prep for medical leave, but when I checked the database, I saw Ensign Sable has been moved ahead of her. Is that right? Alvarez has been on the waiting list for three months now. I thought arm transplants took priority over a cornea. D. To D from Z. Here's your clerical error. One of them bought CEC stock at the last purchase. One didn't. Guess which one was suddenly bumped up to vital personnel. It's not worth the headache to push back on it, trust me. And before you think about filing an ethics complaint, just remember the wise words of Hippocrates. Shit rolls downhill. Baby's just hanging out every oh hanging out everywhere. What the fuck did I just hear? Things in the vents. Kinda curious if I can bust these open. Let's go for the middle one that doesn't have a human in it. No. Ugh, fuck. Oh, shit. Hello. Get the fuck off me. How did that not affect him? I think you need to, like, sever two of their tendrils to kill them. 
generally. Ah, finally we're back to here. A node, nice. Um, I don't know if I want to get near that. Can I turn it off first? Doors instead of shock pads, yeah, that seems like a better idea. Oh shit, I think I just healed. Does it let you heal even if you don't need to? Mm, well, I don't have any healing left, so... Doesn't really matter. Daniels isn't answering her rig link. What's your status? I found a shock pad I can use on the barricade. I'm heading back there now. Watch the voltage on that pad. I'm not losing anyone else. I thought I missed it. Yeah, you can grab their claws. I should probably do that. blow anything up. Let's see if I can buy anything. Ah, stasis pack. We can now purchase. Nothing to buy. Let's blow this up. Is this really far enough away? I don't know. I don't know, man. Okay. You're the engineer. Oh, fuck. this ship. Yeah, I agree.
Weapon upgrade? Plasma cutter upgrade. Bring it to the bench to improve weapons and gear. Oh. <laughs> now serving. Number 999. Security clearance. Nah. Security clearance required. Was there nothing in there? I thought they always had something. I suppose these would probably do some damage if I threw them at someone. Okay, well I think we need to go in there. Probably, so probably the next thing we're gonna get is security clearance one. Medical log, Dr. B. Warwick, Chief Psych Officer. Report of psychiatric observation for patient Harris B., who is an employee. Harris is asleep after another dose of sedative. He seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after more than 50 hours of waking, regardless of circumstances. Not Harris. His bizarre explanations of the events on the colony points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere planet side. His guilt is not in doubt. Two security officers were present when he took Dr. Ciorello hostage and murdered Nurse Evans. And Harris doesn't deny his actions, but he shows no remorse. In fact, he insists there was no crime. Specifically, that Evans wasn't a nurse when he killed her. This is classic sociopathic behavior, but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He's affable and friendly, able to empathize, and offer original opinions. When questioned about Evans' murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and uncommunicative. He claims the explanation is stuck in his mind, and that talking about it mixes up its message. He also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory periods, again similar to those experienced by other colonists. During his long waking periods, Harris exhibits writing behavior on any available surface, claiming the dreams need to speak, and that he's attempting to make it whole again. What that means, I haven't determined yet. Given the complexities of his case, I plan to reach out to my colleagues for more insight. I feel like I should take, preemptively take every spiky thing I can find. Did it just get darker? And the command crew won't tell us what's happening. Maybe I have some cage we left. Follow Nicole's hologram. Oh, right, this is the side mission. Right, right, right. Yeah, we're definitely going to be having a fight in here, so I'm just going to put some useful things in the center of the room. What is that? Is that some sort of, like, bomb? Oh, maybe it's like a stasis bomb. Like, if I throw it, it'll break open and cast stasis in the vicinity? That's what it looks like, anyway. Remove the battery and ensure no power is being used on the circuit breaker. Well, let's not do that just yet. Uh, yeah, where did Nicole go? Didn't she just, like, go here? Yeah, she went right here. Well, it seems like the power goes to here, so... Maybe... We... 
Oh, we have to take the lights off and put it to the shower? Okay. Great. Oh yeah, great. That's lovely. Medical log, Dr. Nicole Brennan. So much for being paranoid. I repurposed this room to run counseling sessions without unitologists interfering. Now, it's the only place I feel safe. I recovered a limb after yesterday's attack. Genetically, it's human tissue with bizarre mutations. But it's just a sample. It's not enough to figure out a cure. I need... Wait, where's that report from engineering? The engineers pulled something out of machinery. Limbs missing, torso intact. Okay. Time for a real autopsy. Yeah, we probably want to follow up on that. Find autopsy location in engineering. Okay, so we can only take the battery out if we disable everything. Yep, yeah, fuck this. Oh, that actually did something. Yeah. No, I want to grab one of the claws! Fuck! Oh, what am I doing? He's a mine. There we go. Are we good? Can I get one of your claws? Thank you. I think we might be okay. You know, just so I actually know what this thing does, let's see if this does do stasis like I think. I'm not sure if there's really a way to tell if there's no enemy. Uh, I don't know. If it looks stasis-y? Yeah, that, that's definitely stasis. It's gotta be. Oh no, something's gonna wake up in there. You got two claws. Give me the other one. Wait, what is that? Something's like tunneled through there. There's a fucking hole in the wall. Sure. I did kill the little one. Okay, 
hold up, there's something back here. Why are these hallways so long? I don't like it. Security request retrieved. He left me. I woke in the dark with them scratching in the walls. Scratching like rats. And you will lock me in with them. Fuck it. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. What is that noise? It's like a rattling ice machine or something. They did a great job with the sound design. And we're back. I had a hard crash when I was looking at this oxygen recharge station. Monitors went black and I had to force shut down my computer and start it back up. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Mercer, it's Terrence Kite. You were in surgery so I left him to Warwick. He'll be discreet. I just got the latest report from Aegis 7. The situation's worse than Captain Matthias will admit. 40% of the colony's population is now showing symptoms. Depression, hallucinations, more violence. People are dying down there. I know it's linked to the marker somehow, but I just don't have enough data. Or sir, maybe I was wrong. We need answers by any means possible. That patient, Brent Harris, might be our last hope. So yeah, the fact that there's an oxygen refill station down there suggests that at some point this hallway is going to be out of air. Hello? Is this actually happening or are we just like hallucinating? You're going to cut your own throat, aren't you? Yeah, of course. Ugh. I think I vaguely remembered that also. Level two security clearance required. Save point. It's been a while. Oh! Yep, there we go. Sealed itself. That's good. Man, the 
lighting is so good. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I want to try to get a trick shot with that. Can we throw it in? Maybe we have to place it in gently. Nah, I think we have to place it in. I mean, I love how it looks. It looks absolutely brilliant. Oh god, the fog looks so good. So I kind of love this, but I also hate this. Oh fuck you, there's nothing in there. Oh, wait, there's something in there. Somewhere easily accessible. Medical log, Dr. G. Domus, medical examiner. Report of death on ship. Subject, Captain B. Matthias. It is my unfortunate duty to officially pronounce Captain Benjamin Matthias dead. Reports of the exact circumstances surrounding his death are conflicted and will be left to our investigators to determine once we return to port. I will constrain my comments to the condition of the body. Subject was in generally good health for his age, though a cursory blood test indicates his leukocyte count was very low, with eosinophils in particular almost non-existent. His pre-flight physical exam showed no such problems, indicating rapid onset. Onset? Isn't it onset? but it does not appear to have had any effect on his death. Multiple contusions on the arms and hands indicate a brief struggle pre-mortem. Light contusions around the ribcage indicate he was restrained, likely for a brief period. Cause of death was a single prolonged trauma to the ocular body, which continued on through the cavity wall and into the frontal lobe, causing rapid neurotrauma, seizure, and death. The angle of penetration into the ocular cavity indicates the injury was not self-inflicted. Examination required the removal of the object to confirm cause of death, but it has been preserved for the investigative team to study. I therefore have no alternative but to record a preliminary verdict of unnatural death. Whether deliberate or accidental is beyond my jurisdiction. Probably murdered. So this is probably going to give me a level one access. Oh! New enemy. All right. When those things... Yeah, yeah. Now I remember those enemies. When they, like, sting a body, it turns into one of these things.
You're still alive? You're stronger than a normal one. Jesus. Oh, the fucker's out there. Oh, it's turning them. It's turning them. Fuck off. Let's kill this goddamn thing. There, I can't turn anymore. Wait, no, it's still alive. I thought you were dead. Okay, so all the ones turned by that thing seem to be super strong. Fucking hell. Whew. Looks like we have security one status now. Yep, there we go. Higher clearance doors and lockers are now accessible. Does the map show the clearance needed for things? Oh, I have enough credits now to get uh, a node from the store next time I'm there. Oh yeah, it does show the level. I suppose it would show that even for lockers and stuff like that. Like in here, that number three, I think, is for a locker or something other than a, a door. This map is a bit slow to use. Oh, I love that noise. <laughs> so wait, where does this go out to? Mm, looks like it's ultimately going to connect up here somewhere, but not sure where. Clearance confirmed. Oh, it's an elevator. Isaac. I'm here. What the hell's happening? The computer says the Ishimura's engines are offline. We're on a decaying orbit toward Aegis 7. Oh, God. I have to get to engineering. There's no time. That tram station's offline. Unless... Here. Head back to the flight deck. I'll guide you from there. If this damage report's right, there's a shortcut to engineering. That's not good. There's a hole that'll allow me to get to engineering faster? I mean, I guess that's good, but also definitely not. Oh, we're back here. Oh, I can unlock these now. Clearance confirmed. Clearance confirmed. How about we turn the lights on in here? Yeah, that's better. I know that's unnecessary, but it just just makes me feel better. Is there a locker in here I didn't open? Oh, and I can open this now. Clearance confirmed. 
Nah, that's a level two. Check the map for any more clearance level ones. Don't see any. I think this is a level two, right? Oh no. How did I miss that? Ah, whatever. Confirmed. Sold some stuff, bought a upgrade node. Let's continue on to the tram. I've already been here before, so we, we may or may not see any enemies. Seems we're fine. Going back to Hangar Bay. Flight deck tram control. Yeah, we're supposed to go back to the flight deck. And then they're going to guide me from there. There's a bench nearby, too. Upgrade unlocked. Plasma cutter upgrade. Graph extended. New special ability is now accessible. An additional power node has been salvaged. Okay, so how does that work? The special thing. Wait, is this it over here? Greatly increases ammunition capacity. Okay, well, we're not going to reach that for a long time. That's really far away. Okay, we have, oh, we have five nodes, wow. Erg is, ah, oh, it's energy. Well, I need that to get to the next HP and I really want that, so let's go for the Erg. Takes me from three to four stasis energy. So one more, one more uh, notch. And let's just go for the HP from 125 to 150, another 25 points. Pulse Rifle, I think I should definitely upgrade some more. Yeah, let's get the damage for sure from 40 to 45. Yeah, let's upgrade the capacity. 10 more rounds and then get the other damage. 45 to 50. Damage is very important. And after that, I think I'll try to upgrade the Plasma Cutter. Don't want to leave that thing behind. Wow, thanks. I love watching this again. You're so generous. The hell is going on? says there's a broken cargo lift just beyond the hangar doors. I'll open them now. Entering zero gravity. Ah. You'll need your thrusters to reach it, but that lift shaft should take you straight down to engineering. Intensive care completed. Course correction. Be so many secrets. Think of all the secrets. Hey, look at that. Look at the way the lighting interacts with the fog. This looks like some control panels. Track control offline. These all connect to some power cables. Which go here, and we can't interact with it yet. It needs needs a battery. Oh, wait, there's a battery. Cargo rail tracks or loading shutter. What's the loading shutter do? I could open this. Is this a whole bonus area? There's a bunch of loot in there. There's so much loot in here. 
Okay, let's try the cargo rail tracks. Hmm. I don't know if I need to mess with this yet. Can I move that with, like, my telekinesis or something? Or do I go down there and push it? I'm not sure what pushing it to the end of the track is going to accomplish. Maybe uh, it becomes part of the main quest? Well, that should do it, whatever it is. Yeah, I can't do anything with the cargo things yet, but hold on, what is this up here? Gravity control. Does that make anything useful happen? I don't think so. Entering zero gravity. Found some more things to pick up. Broke them all. Off camera. Don't want to waste your time. I just really, 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 really hope I don't die. And then I lose all that progress because I can't go back and save at the moment. Okay, just go on through. Entering vacuum. It's peaceful. Feel like I need to whisper. Ooh. Shit, there's two. You're fine, Isaac, you're fine. Oxygen tank? Yes, please. Oh, look at these growths. Oh, they look so good. Hold on, do I have to, like, use the oxygen tank in my inventory, or does it get used automatically, or... Yeah, I have to use it. Looks like it takes us straight up to max, though. Yeah, the whole no air and no gravity thing, like, those whole sections are just so brilliantly done. What are all these scratches? Good 
Clearance confirmed. We are not punished for our sins, but by them. Oh, that looks so cool. Engineering log, seed Danvers, organic growth and engineering. Adding this to my maintenance priority request. Maybe something in writing will make them pay attention. That unidentified growth reported elsewhere in the ship has reached engineering. Not even medical knows what the hell this stuff is. It looks like someone threw their guts up all over the walls and smells about the same. It's spreading faster than we can cut it up, which is pretty disgusting in itself. It's already busted the cargo lift and it's getting into the engine spoke. If we can't find a way to stop it soon, it'll be all over the main engine chamber by the day after tomorrow. Meantime, I'm heading to the mining deck. They've got PFM 100s in storage for ice mining, and they can spare the fuel. Maybe cauterizing this stuff will do the trick. Just hope it doesn't smell worse when it's on fire. Activate the control console. Alright, we're supposed to find the autopsy location and engineering as our side quest. This is not the direction we need to go, but what is down it? Engineering tram station. Oh. Oh, but the tram's offline, isn't it? Well, let's see what's over here. Oh, we can override it. The lockdown. Lifting station lockdown. Alright, well, I'm going to end the episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to activate the control console and see what we can accomplish here in engineering. <laughs>